and let us differentiate some functions with respect to x so we know the formula differentiation of y with respect to x dy by dx also we call it as change of y instantaneous change of y with respect to x so this is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 delta y by delta x or delta y by delta x we can write like this delta x tends to 0 f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x now let us solve one problem y is equal to x power n let us differentiate this y with respect to x also we can take it as f of x and we need f of x plus delta x so wherever x is present you substitute x plus delta x you will be getting x plus delta x whole power n so dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 here f of x plus delta x means x plus delta x whole power n minus f of x is x power n by delta x write down say and uh, let me go for expansion of this term by using binomial theorem so limit delta x tends to 0 1 into x power n delta x power 0 plus n into x power n minus 1 delta x power 1 plus n into n minus 1 by 2 x power n minus 2 delta x whole square plus again n into n minus 1 n minus 2 by 6 x power n minus 3 delta x cube and so on we are going to get and minus last this term second term x power n whole by delta x here delta x power 0 is 1 so 1 into x power n is x power n this first term x power n and uh, another term minus x power n gets cancelled this is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 here let me divide with the delta x and write down the term n into x power n minus 1 delta x by delta x is 1 only plus n into n minus 1 by 2 x power n minus 2 delta x square by delta x delta x plus again in other term you would be getting delta x whole cube delta x whole cube by delta x gives you this term into delta x whole square plus again in this term delta x whole power 3 and so on now delta x value is almost equal to 0 you substitute those values n into x power n minus 1 plus delta x value 0 so total term will become 0 again delta x square again 0 again you will be getting delta x whole cube again 0 again you are getting another term delta x whole power 4 0 and so on so what you are going to get dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to n into x power n minus 1 that's all so where y is given x power n or generally we write like this d by dx of x power n because y is equal to x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1 so generally we ask the students to remember this formula d by dx of x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1 